how many bosses and side paths and stuff does all the men have? It's going to be my last instance of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn cat. I think that's my Zeppelin. Catch up here, catch up here, catch up here. Oh. There we go, I made it. Just had to dismount to get on it. Holy crap. That means you got some skills like that. I think I'm going the right way. It's really embarrassing this goes to the wrong spot. Oh no, it went to the right spot. <laughs> Just faster to fly from here. Let's see if we can have a flight path near it. Holy shit, I don't. Okay, we'll go to Dreadmall Hall and then from there I'm going to have to fly up. Actually, from Dreadmall Hall I might actually sell and repair. And in order to make sure I remember to do that, there. Opening my bags on flight. You see that imbued netherweave bag that was made by Pyrosia? Pyrosia is my tailor. She is also a mage. She is my level 100 mage on the horde side of Agrimar server. Yes, yeah, she is my PvP girl. I'm not excited about the way PvP got nerfed and the way the Nemesis quests got screwed up completely by the way... Uh, Blizzard has fucked up Ashran since patch 6.2 but uh, you know what are you going to do? have to get back to doing PvP work with her I'm never going to get that uh, title I'm actually going to close my bags because we're going to be kind of close to one of my other favorite. I've got three favorite instances. ZF, which I'll be doing next time I stream. Solomance, which I've talked about. And Karazhan, which is right there. That tower. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap it back there. That little tower peeking up the top there. That's Karazhan. And those are my three favorite instances. Old Sunken Temple, which can be found here in the Swamp of Sorrows, would be my fourth favorite instance. But I can't really count that anymore because they fucked up the instance. Let me off at Stoner, even though I don't have it. Let's see. Will it let me off here? It will not. Okay, fine. That'll be one of the flight paths I have to get as I head north. Because I'll need that for Swamp of Soros, for the Sunken Temple. which has been nerfed within an inch of its life. Okay, get off the thing, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. 
It's not funny, it's so face of fight now. These guys are actually level 9, they actually have to pay attention to what I'm doing with these videos. Isn't that funny? Wow. Well that happened boys and girls because this is a different phase of the Blasted Land. This is the phase it takes you to drain on. If you wanted to go back to the original version of the Blasted Lands, all you have to do is talk to this person here and they switch it back to the way it used to be. I cannot sell unless I switch it back so I'm just going to go over here to Stonard which I have to get my flight path anyway and I will sell and repair there on the route to the next instance. I believe I'm sitting on top of the tree. Yeah. Yeah. What can I help you with? Engineering. I can send that to Wisenheimer and see if he's in there. Okay, this bag doesn't mean anything else for me. Singing of the hidden door, interesting. Why did they even give me the key? I know it's a, an item, but it's a necklace, but still, it's so stupid. Just taunt people with the way the thing used to be when it was good. There we go. Everything taken care of. Repair. Not even the gold roof. Oh, the Excellent. All right, we're already on now, so let's head. Now there's the sunken temple. I'll be coming back here in a bit. Um, you can't do anything with it now because if you fly near it, you actually plummet. And if you accidentally don't fall exactly where you need to, i.e. the water, you will break your bones across the back of the architecture. Le bug petal. Hey, how you Thank doing? You. All right. Now this is an addition since Cataclysm. I guess they figured that Horde found it too damn hard to go through the Red Ridge Mountains in the Lakeshire region. So from the Swamp of Sorrows, they've decided to make a path that goes up north and around into the, uh, I believe it's the Searing Gorge. Could be the Burning Steps. It's either the Burning Steps or the Searing Gorge. I think it's the Burning Steps, though. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm getting to that so I'm also going to take a peek because I might actually have to uh, get a flight path here right near Stone Talon. Oh, Stone Talon. Really? I might have to get the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get a flight path over here for some other instances I'll be running including a raid. You're seeing me stop deliberately every time something new comes up on the screen. It's because that's how you get reveals quick. You can fly through them, and when the name fades, you'll get the uh, pop. But if you automatically stop as soon as a new name pops on your screen, you will then, at that instant, automatically get credited for the reveal, plus any experience points that reveal will give you. I could get the 
flight path here as well. Yes, I should. Here's Black Rock Mountain. Mm -hmm. Here's the flood path we're going to be using in order to get here later. Yeah. We were real almost in fire zone. We're deliberately going around the mountain on this side rather than going through it because I want to get the quick reveal of the Ultra Storms over here for the purpose of getting a completed uh, reveal in the zone where I only have a small area to go. Plus, this also reveals this area, the Searing Gorge. So I also don't have anything done in Good thing I'm flying directly towards the settlement, I can get the flight path that's nearest to Black Rock Mountain here. Iron Summit. Okay, where's the guy that I am? Not taking care of that. Pass into the bad line. Back of it with this full reveal here. There we go. Well, let's get as much as I can while I'm going. I'm pretty sure this is the nearest flight path to uh, all of them. All of them has a back door. At least it did, anyway. I'm not sure if it does anymore. Crypt. It's just called Crypt. Because for there's a back door in. I don't know if there is anymore though. I'm not seeing anything here, and I don't see the cave that I used to see either. Let's take a look at the map a little bit more closely. Hmm. I don't... Oh, wait a second. It might be that cave there. This is worth exploring just so I know, so I can give the accurate information to people when I'm doing this. This might, in fact, be the back way into Alderman. Yep, this is called Alderman. 
So okay, let's see. there's the actual back entrance, there's the main entrance. Okay, we're going to pull the back entrance in this entrance because people don't even know it exists, I don't think, anymore. So there we go, I'm technically in Alderman. Now that. The store used to need a key. There I am. Okay. Right in the back entrance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the Obsidian Sentinel and I'm going to go around and come to the main entrance. I figure that's only fair, right? Show people where they come in, show people that it can be done, show people killing a random boss. Yeah. Okay. Proof that you can come in this way and go into all of them. Also proof that I'm not making shit up. Then we're going to head to the main entrance to all of them, which is just over here. You can see it in the distance. It's a cave. Where is Shaw? Takes a little while to get in there. So this is going to be heading into the main entrance. Of course, for the purposes of uh, doing the uh, instances on YouTube, we're going to show me looking in the back entrance as well as the main entrance. Aren't we, wife? Yes. Wife's currently ignoring me. <coughs> And here's the entrance to the dig that we have to go into. It's not that hard to get to, it's just a pain in the butt because of all these mobs you have to fight to get in here. So in actuality, it is much easier to do this now that you can do a people group. There we are. These big pillars are the main entrance. And in we go. Alright, so now we're in Alderman. I'm just going to get a little more comfortable here. Defeat the bosses and the bonus bosses. Kill everything. They're all you want. Yes, well, Alderman also has a section at the end of it that's very cool. But also very long. Yes. Keep your wits about you. Hit the power cores by killing the Glory guys with the power the cores. The Kill that guy. Glory to and, the Sindora. And, and do other stuff. Like kill one of the bosses on route. Whatever. Okay, so. Here's the main entrance. Okay? Now the way you want to kill things from here is it doesn't matter whether you go up or down, but it, it keeps people reminded that they have a boss to go down and get if they deliberately go down and then down again. Just in case anyone's interested, the Lost Dwarves here, Eric, Olaf, and Balog, that is a reference to the very first game Blizzard ever, ever made, entitled The Lost Vikings, I believe. Really? And uh, these three guys are the ones, Eric, Olaf, and Balog are the three guys that were your playable characters in the original Lost Vikings game. Okay. So this is actually kind of cool in that it's referencing the very first Blizzard game ever made. Awesome. Cool, folks. Cool beans. So that's reason enough to go in here. Now we're going to let people aggro on them because these guys are not magic users. Let them all aggro on me all the way over. Blah, 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 blah. Let them aggro on me. Oh, one of them is a magic user, but I don't really care. Everybody's here? And everybody's gone. Alright. Da 
section. There we go. We go down. Okay, our second random boss is in here. We're just killing him so far as we can here. So, here's everybody, all three of them. There we go. That's not technically part of the boss's thing. Now this was important originally. Because you originally had to get the medallion and the shaft and the staff. You need to put them together. And that was kind of Indiana Jones-like. Yeah. Um, but of course, for the sake of not having to do as much work and to make the game as nerfed as humanly possible it completely removed the need to do all three things before opening up the place where Iron Eye comes out. That's what the whole purpose of this was, was to get Iron Eye out. You don't even have to come down here for any reason anymore. All right. Rebel Ash is our boss. We're grabbing everybody. Dropping everybody, and that takes care of that. Then we get to the chamber or the map. Now this used to be, as I said, a big deal. Now it's simply a matter of putting a staff on a keystone. And everything does its own thing. See, it's supposed to be a little raiders there with a keystone and a map on the ground and everything. And you're expecting the beam of light to hit that, but instead it goes and hits this door, which looks all pretty as shit when it opens. None may steal the secrets of the Makers. Oops, release the boss. So that's quest number one. And technically that's also two of the three actual bosses in the instant. See how far I've gone? I've hardly gone anywhere. And I've already killed two of the three bosses. I've already taken out the Obsidian Sentinel. So I gotta go to the Ooh, did I screw that up? Oh I did. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to leave the instance and reset it. Uh oh. Well I don't have to, but I should. Yeah. Because what I've accidentally done here is I killed the Obsidian Sentinel without the quest on me. And the Obsidian Sentinel drops the Obsidian Power Core. Yes, See kids, there's a reason not to do things a speedy fast way. You'll miss out on quest completions. If you're in a good looking for group party, someone will know all the uh, kills. So go up here. Reset all the instances. All of them has been reset. So we start from scratch. We've already got the quest, but we start from scratch. Good thing is we don't have to really kill anybody until we get around to our first boss. 
And we don't have to go in that side area and kill that other boss, because he's not really a boss. Or they aren't really a boss. Or, you know, however you want to say it. Okay, we got him. It didn't take me long to reset, so that's the good thing, is that because I know what I'm doing, it didn't take me long to reset at all. Alright, so let's look at the pretty again. Steal the secrets of the makers. Still not interested. Uh -huh. Okay. Now then. <clears throat> so we're going to go around to this, then we're going to go over here, and then we're going to go over here, and here, and then into the next section. Into the last section, I should say. <clears throat> it is a bit confusing for the person who's been in here only once or twice. Because there is a lot of you have to know where you're going running around type stuff. And uh, most tanks are going to aggro as much as they can before moving into the next phase. So they're going to make sure that you have to kill as much as possible as quickly as possible. That's just how it's being done nowadays. Okay. In other words, you're not picking up stuff really quick, you're not going to be able to pick stuff up at all. There we go, Obsidian Power Core. Good thing I remembered it when I did, eh? Alright, so now from there, the easiest way is to go almost as straight as possible as you can. Get back where you were. up here is the hole that was broken into into the next area. See? And the stone steward can die now. Well, look how these do. Go. The ancient stone keeper is the other guy who drops the core. There we go, we got our Titan power core now. We got our two cores. There, that's the reason why we wanted to make sure we went back and came back out. So from here we wander around and then try and head over to Dig 3. Okay. Big three. By Thoris on speed. That'd be the wife talking and choking on something. You gonna survive? Yeah. Well then we're good. Are I helpful? And that takes care of Grimlock, which is another one of the bonus objectives. Alright, so we're taking care of all the bonus objectives. We're taking care of everything 
except for killing off the final bad dude. The final bad dude just hugs the wall to your left. Well, not hug it, but, you know, follow it. As long as it doesn't do anything weird, you're good. Well, can't see through that. I thought I could avoid these two for seeing through that. Follow the crafters. That's how you know you're getting close when you get to this door. Go. Quick little slaughter of these dudes. And here we go. Into the final section of the incense. Or so they would have you believe at first. Okay, now originally, you need more than one person to do this. I think you need like three. <coughs> oh crap, you still, no you don't, so there's not one. Getting worried there. Okay, one down. Okay, when everybody's dead, the next door opens. There used to be more there, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong on that. That should have wounded everybody. It did. Okay, good. Now we hit all the way down. here. Open up the big doors. Oh look, it's the final boss. Now again, you used to need more than one person to do this. Getting all angry and nipped at me now. It used to be that the six guys attacked around the room as well. I don't think they do anymore. They just stand there. Yeah. So, that's how quick and easy that instance is now. It takes a lot longer when you're not roll 100. I promise. It takes a lot longer. But I've given you the fast path in and out. However, even though the instance looks done, it's not really because you still have one more quest. Okay. He's going to give you a whole bunch of lore. I'm not going to deliberately read it out loud or anything like that. I'm just going to take a little bit of time so people can pause and read these as they come up. If they wish to uh, actually read what's being said. I don't think this one actually shows pictures of what he's saying. No, it doesn't. <coughs> The board player on the alliance side as he prospers. He's bored, is he? Yeah, he's killing all the quest dealers and stuff. Ah, I don't suppose you're there trying to get quests done, are you? No, I'm level 91. <laughs> what quest do I have in this area? Well, then kill his ass. I'm level 91, he's level 100. You said he's level 91. Oh no, you didn't. You said I you're said level 91. I'm level 91. 
I didn't know what level he was. This is a hint to go to the uh, Halls of Stone, I believe. It gives you a big pile of information about this as well. <coughs> It's a lot of interesting lore if you're reading along. Then you grab the discs. And you take the discs. Now if you're in looking for group, all you have to do is right click the little button and say leave instance. Sorry, teleport out of instance. And then you can click them again and teleport into instance and it'll put you right at the entrance which is where you have to turn in all these quests. Because I did not come in looking for group, uh, I didn't use the group finder for this, I'm going to have to traipse my way all the way back out. However, again, because I deliberately did this a very specific way, it makes it easy to make the trek without getting lost or turn around or getting lots of aggro. You know, that way too, but I came this route. Oh, so I got a group on the way out, so. That's a little, yeah, that's a little branch. I don't know if it's meant to be a rare spawn down there or not, but I think that's what that's supposed to be. No, uh, no technically you don't want to fall into these holes, simply because they give you a lot of aggro for very little use. On the other hand, you have the ability to, you know, skin them all, so this fall is not too bad. It's fortuitous, I'm getting scorpion scales off them. Thick leathers, which is what I need. That wasn't terrible bad, right? There we go, I can hang out at the dwarven campfire. Mm -hmm. Normally though, if you're falling down one of those pits, you're going to be screwed because chances are your uh, party's not going to bother waiting for you. That'll happen nine nine times out of a hundred that your party will not wait for that. So they probably won't stay around you and help kill them, even though they're not elite. There is a bunch of them and they're your level, so 
uh, if you're running this party out level, you're probably going to run into a little bit of trouble if you fall into one of these little pits. That's all I'm saying. As a skinner, there's almost nothing better though. Lots of skins, hardly any work. Here we are back in the map chamber. <laughs> Remember we deliberately cleared the southern path. So the southern path is what we're going to take. We didn't clear the whole thing the second time. We're on our original foray in here before I had to reset up. The southern path is what we cleared and the reason why is so we could walk back out without aggroing these guys that I'm purposefully aggroing to make my point now. And here's where you would teleport to if you were just putting back in. And here's all your quest terminals. Victory yes. lies ahead. Time is of the essence. Anaria Shola. Death to all who oppose us. State your business. Keep your wits about you. Alright, so that takes care of the quests in here. Now, um... I'm harping back to my garrison because I'm going to be calling that a day on the instant streaming. The next instance I have is more than likely going to be Fire Mall. Uh, in its three chunks. But I'm actually feeling a little punky right now, so... I'm going to call it a break there. Obviously, uh, <coughs> the uh, last um, YouTube video can run at the end of this video. So for that purposes, you can find me at Twitter at GutRend. You can find me on uh, Facebook, uh, GutRend page. You can find the GutRend channel on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can find me streaming live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash gutrend and I mention when I'm streaming on my uh, gutrend Twitter feed so feel free to follow me there to keep up with all the streaming info or simply follow my channel on Twitch and you'll get notified when I go live. I have an Amazon page as gutrend, the Tumblr as gutrend, I'm on IMDB as gutrend and I'm on Instagram as gutrend. Additionally, you can find me on the 360 and the Xbox One as The Real Gut Rent. Capital T, capital R, capital G, The Real Gut Rent. Feel free to friend me there. I will friend you back. And if you follow me on YouTube or like me on Facebook or uh, follow my channel on Twitch, I will follow you back as well. So I hope everybody enjoyed seeing a few instances today. Uh, the instances will be broken up one by one on YouTube, plus this entire uh, video will be uploaded to YouTube as one chunk. Additionally, the highlights will remain on Twitch, as will the entirety of this video be set as a highlight as well. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all have a good day, and I will be broadcasting more in instances a little bit later this week, probably getting close to the end of the vanilla instances and probably starting the vanilla raids and uh, get going through a few of those. I will in fact probably need the wife to help me get some of those done simply because certain bosses in certain raids require very specific mechanics that cannot be accomplished with one player generally. So, so there you go. I guess we will talk to you soon and uh, for all those WoW players out there, may all your hits be crit.